Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another four-box random team break of 2018 Panini Contenders Football number random team number 11. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action and these teams. Thanks to these teams for getting into the action. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list, each list, one and a four, five times. Thanks, Brian. One, two, three, four, and a one, five times. Right? All right. Yeah, sometimes I screw it up. Moody down to Chad. I always get nervous. It's the biggest fear that I have at night. All right. I, I wake up in cold sweats. Did I get the dice roll right? Did I randomize it the right number of times? One and a four, five times. It's terrifying. One, two, three, four, and a one, five times. Ravens. Down to Steelers. What about <laughs> Rich's biggest fear is clowns. What about clowns, Rich, who screw up the randomizer? That's terrifying. That's that's the worst. Combine two of those fears. Moody with the Ravens. Brent with the Raiders. TJ Poyer with the Colts. Edwin with the Buccaneers. Michael with the Bengals. Jason with the Broncos. Michael with the Chiefs. Karen with the Jags. Kevin with the Panthers. Jeremy 33 with the Browns. Summer, you got the Lions. Jeremy with the 49ers. Nicholas Kasberg with the Cards. Michael Noel with the Bears. Patrick Edwards with the Saints. Jeremy 33 Bills. Brent Mason with the Falcons. Brent Culper with the Redskins. Mike Hasselbat Hasselman. Dolphins. <laughs> Brent Mason. Patriots. John with the Packers. Ricky with the Jets, John O with the Rams, Rick Robinson with the Eagles, Brian, you got the Cowboys, Josh Pruce with the Vikings, Brent Culper with the Giants, TJ Poyer, Last Spot Mojo, Seattle Seahawks, Johnny L, Charters, Jason L, Titans, Stephen L, Texans, and Chad, you got the Steelers. All right, feel free to trade away, trade away, trade away. And while you're doing that, we'll see which four boxes we're going to do. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two. We'll do the left side right here. This we will save for next time. I'm sure this will sell out pretty quickly. Haven't found any of these guys yet in the first four, so maybe in this case. Okay, so we've got Raiders and Redskins for trade, Rams for trade, Bengals, anybody. TJ Poor is offering Colts, Redskins. Confirmed? All right. All right, so Brent, you now have the Colts. Let's put a T there so we see who draws first blood in the trade, if any. TJ Poyer with the Redskins. There you go, confirmed. You know what? I haven't, William. I should check into that randomizer, that advanced randomizer option. All right. Any other trade? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's go. TWC, trade window closed, print, and rip. Here we go. It's me, Mario. Here we go. Five autographs per box on average, ladies and gentlemen. We saw uh, an above average box in the previous break. Let's see more. Let's see more of those. All right, 18th break number 11, the final third of this case in the store already and selling out as we speak. So if you're watching live, go get it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. If you're not watching live, if you're watching a replay days later. Well, keep keep checking the website. There may be more of this stuff by the time you check again. All right. Good luck, boys and girls.
Now, I'm sure... I think that flawless baseball is going to sell out. If not sold out already. I see like 10 orders coming in. Um, I'm sure this final four boxes of this case is going to sell out. But after that, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I know that impeccable football is in single digits. That vertex football is at 10. Could That could be in single digits by now. By the time we do all of those breaks, we will still have plenty of time in the evening to do, to do other stuff. I don't know what other stuff you guys want to do, but I don't know. we'll find out, boys and girls. So I would just buy spots. Buy spots now. We'll go through orders after this break, and then we'll see where the momentum is going. All right. Got Armani Watts, rookie ticket autograph. Well, here's the thing, Matt Whitaker. Matt Matthews like, well, I guess no one's in a basketball breaking mood. You never know. Because we'll run out of this football, this contender's football pretty quickly. We'll be out of flawless pretty quickly. We'll do that impeccable pretty quickly. And then all of a sudden, we'll still have hours left in the broadcast. And that might be the moment where we're like, hey, why don't we look at some uh, basketball, some hoops. 43 out of 99, Dante Jackson, Panthers. That'll be for Kevin. And we've got Cedric Wilson Jr. For the, for Brian and the Cowboys. And DeSwarm, Jared saying that the, uh, DeSwarm saying that the next contenders just sold out. All right, there you go. Thanks, Jared, for the update. And we'll do left-right randomizers on those. And Chase Litton. It's lit. Michael Kuntz with the Chiefs. All right, so contenders will probably go off next, unless that flawless sold out first. But either way, we've got breaks coming up. Sam Darnold coming up. Rookie ticket autograph in a random team break. Not too shabby for Ricky Holbert. And the New York Jets, Jets, Jets. The future. All right, so nice start to this break already. Rookie of the Year contenders, 12 out of 25, Deshaun Hamilton. That'll go to Jason L and the Broncos. Good evening to you too, the Swam. How how are things? I hear that the uh, the rest of the country will probably be blanketed in some sort of frozen water type thing, which we are unfamiliar with here in Los Angeles. No, I don't have anything to sleep. All right, there you go. Nice, Darnold. Matthew Whitaker. Yes, I I, I do have some plays tonight. On the hoops, for those of you in a hoops mood, I was, oh, nice, the Nets won. I had the Nets plus 100, they won. I have the uh, Timberwolves minus 120, they're winning, but still a lot of time left in that game. I took Cleveland plus 15 and a half points. I mean, Utah has no, has no guards. Except for like, I mean, they really have no, no one, no no depth in that. Guard. Everyone's injured. Raul Neto's injured. Ricky Rubio's injured. A lot of injuries there. So I took the the Cavs plus fifteen and a half points. You kind of have to take that, right? You can't not. And then I have the Portland Trailblazers minus one forty one. They are hosting the Pelicans. Trailblazers play well at home. 
those are my, those are my picks for tonight. My football my football picks on Sunday: Rams money line plus one sixty five, and the under fifty six points. AFC Championship game: Chiefs minus one fifty two on the money line. I might hammer that again if that gets lower. I think it has in most places. And I'm taking the over fifty six points. Oh, no slow, no snow in Atlanta. All right, frozen water is what we call it out here. We don't know what snow is. Of all weather-related words, for all. All uh, weather-related words. Snow is probably the the least, the most least, most least is the least frequent word that I probably use. If there was like a, you guys, you guys know those word clouds, right? How many times snow would be the smallest uh, word? There's Dak Prescott to Brian, 175, and we've got some Dalton Schultz for Brian and the Cowboys. Uh, I actually did parlay. I didn't. I didn't add that on the list, but I, I did parlay those two money lines together. So that's the that's the financial position that I took. I don't do I don't do the stock market, folks. There's Jalen Holmes at a ninety nine. The companies don't have your best interests at hand. They're looking to maximize profits for CEOs. I know that the Rams are trying to win a ball game. You know, that the Saints, Patriots, Kansas, whatever team you take a position on, they're all trying to win a ball game. They're they're in uh. They're with you. They your your interests are aligned. So people, some people may invest in stocks. I invest in football teams. Chase Edmonds, the one for case Chase Edmonds going to Nicholas Kasberg. Cardinals. Paul Hutchins does have snow coming his way. Blizzard is a coming. Winter is coming. That's the other thing I know about Game of Thrones. That's the one other thing. One to two feet of snow zone. And then somehow you build character with snow. That's what I've heard. NFL Inc., Nice Juju Smith-Schuster, 2 out of 10. Nice one for Chad B. and the Steelers. There you go, Chad. John O's like, hey, got randomized the Rams. Might as well pull some Rams. That's the idea. That's my hope. Well, listen, folks. We break seven nights a week. We're on tomorrow. We're on Sunday. We're on Monday. And I know a lot of you are going to be getting a lot of snow. And probably snowed in, staying at home, not really going outdoors. Hang with us. Hang with Jaspies. Kick back and relax. And there's Doris Fountain of Youth for the Colts. That'll be for Brent, who got the Colts in a trade. He draws first blood. First blood like uh, like Rambo. I... Uh, Rusty, we, we've got a we've got a uh, a brutal, bitter winter out here in L.A. too. It's been raining for the last few days. Temperatures dropped to an Arctic fifty three degrees. At night. One, two, three, four, five, six, and above average box. It dropped to fifty three degrees, Rusty. We had to put on. An extra hoodie? It's terrible. Oh, talking about Game of Thrones? See, I don't, that's all I know about Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. Some guy named Jon Snow. Um, dragon lady. Dragon girl who's easy on the eyes, and also in Terminator Salvation, or Terminator Synthesis, or Genesis, or Hypothesis, or something like that. Dragons. A little person. 
Uh, lots of torture. Murders. Sword fighting. That's it. That's all I know. Um, my friend, she does, uh, she has done, I think, some early season movie poster work for HBO and Game of Thrones. So she, you've probably seen her work. At least for season two or three or something like that. You've seen her work. That's about it. That's about all I know. Uh, Mr. Joe Howard, I'll tell you a secret just between you and me, Joe. We have one more case of this contenders in the store right now. I have no idea what Nick Jaspi has planned for it. Will it be another random team? Maybe. Will it be a picker team? Maybe. I have no idea. But we do have one left. I don't know what's going to happen with it. We could save it for mixers. There's incest in this show too, Game of Thrones. This sounds like a non-family friendly show. There's Austin. I know it's not a non-family friendly show. Austin Prohl. Too many families. I have to keep track of a lot of different families in that show. That seems like too much. I don't know if my small, my small pea-sized brain cannot handle so many characters. I have a hard enough time figuring out keeping track of all the characters in Harry Potter. Let alone thinking about it. Dorrance Armstrong. It is HBO, Joe. That's true. Home Box Office Network. <laughs> I think that's what it was named after. Uh, Dorrance Armstrong Jr., more for Rusty. <laughs> nice one, Paul Hutchins. He's like, actually, that sounds like it is family friendly. <laughs> Texans, that goes to Steve Locke. Good one, Paul. A little, a little too friendly. A little too friendly. This is true, William. We did, we did at some point sell a lot of Game of Thrones personal boxes on jazbeescasebreaks.com or the old site, but. At Jaspies, there's Ryan Nall to 99. So yeah, that I tried not to read too much of the backs of those cards because people are like, it's gonna ruin the show for you, Joe. So I was like, just in case I watch it, let's do that. There's wow, there was a Sam Darnold and now a chosen Rosen, Josh Rosen for Nicholas Casberg and the Arizona Football Cardinals. Nice. There you go. So we got the two LA quarterbacks. And there's Christian McCaffrey to 99. Future Giant, who? Josh Rosen? Is that true? That's not true, is it? What are the Giants going to give up for him? Wait, are you are you going off the idea that 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 Kingsbury or Klingsbury or Klingon or whatever his name is, that Cliff is going to go with Kyler Murray, and then they're going to trade? Wow, they're going to draft Murray. And trade Odell Beckham Jr. and Josh Rosen goes the other way. Yeah, what about what about Davis Webb or Kyle Laletta? Matthew's like, what about Kyle Laletta? Ricky Holbert, you're welcome. Would you, would, did you watch the early part of the video? Is Kyler Murray really number one material though? All right, see you, Ricky.
All right. Last box. Good luck. We've got Malik Jefferson, rookie ticket auto for the Bengals. Michael Nepp. And fake Tom Brady. Danny Etling going to... Who's got the Patriots in this? Brent. Brent Mason with that one. Matthew Whitt Whitaker thinks that he's a third rounder at best. Well, I don't think he'd go declare for the draft if he didn't get, you know, some some at least intel that he would go higher than that. You know what I mean? That he's got to he's got to be a first round sort of talent if he's going to declare for the declare for the draft. I think it'll be it'll be a bummer for him if he doesn't. He falls out of the first round. 37 out of 49. Joe Montana. Got Armani Watts. Chiefs. That goes to Mike Koontz. There's Quentin Nelson, rookie ticket autograph. Nice one for the Colts. Brent Culper this time with the Colts. There's your four autographs right there. Should be one more. Maybe we can even out the trade here too with this redemption maybe. All right. Good luck, everyone. Redemption is Cortland Sutton, a Bronco. Rookie of the Year contenders autographs. RPS. Mr. S goes to Jason Lawner and the Broncos. Getting that little, little bit of that oppo Joe mojo. Left-right randomizer for those round number cards coming up. We'll go through some order. Maybe that next contenders will be next unless Flawless Baseball sold out first. Low number, low number, low number. That's okay. Six is fine. Two and a four. One, two, three, four. It's just a left, right randomizer. Five and six. Left side. So left side, we'll get any of those cards that popped out in this break. And there you have it, folks. We'll see you next time. Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com.